Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to try and keep this as brisk as possible because not brisk iced tea, which I fucking love. No, 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 no. We're going to keep this as short as possible because I'm going to try and do my reviews today. Yeah, on the same day. It's, it's been like eons since I've done that. But I'm going to gun for it today. That's why I'm doing this shit when the freaking sun... Oh, God, no, the Lord of D. Oh, okay, shit. I'm doing this when the sun is up. So... Chapter 814, let's go see Master Nekomamushi. This is the 500 million Barry Man arc cover story. Yes, I'm aware of that. And you have Dr. Kureha. Now, unfortunately, my focus for some reason is not working. The autofocus. So I need to focus on myself. Now you have Kureha. And she is basically reading about Chopper's bitch-ass bounty. As always. Because he's a bitch. That's right. Your cute little Choppa is a bitch. So let's see, I mean, automatically, I'm kind of like shit. Like, I want this to be Sanji-focused because, well, this is Sanji's year. But let's go see Master Nekomamushi. I'm kind of like, well, what the fuck does that do with Sanji? No. So, damn it. All right, well, let's see how this pans out. Brooke singing along. Let's go see, let's go see, let's go see Master Nekomamushi. yo ho 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 Brooke, god damn it. Well, Mushi, perceptive. He kind of knows that Sanji and Caesar were captured by that person, by Capone. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. He chose to leave. So he's saying, like, I want to carry this incident. Our friends here are trying to ask us to forget about it, but they don't want to be so rude as to say it out loud. So, Mamushi, the guy, he is perceptive. Maybe he's a cat. I think cats are more perceptive than dogs. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Huh? Is that catnip? Nigga, dive! <laughs> Ooh! Stupid. Oh, that's gonna be a running joke. Obviously. Obviously. No, this is gonna be... This is so obvious. This whole thing about cats just diving headfirst to certain objects and whatnot, that's gonna be a running joke. I can tell automatically with this guy just how the Bone Baron, the Bone Baron, Brooke, is being attacked by all these mutts. Master Nekomamushi is a lonely one. When I think of him, an image comes to mind. A pure smile as he basks in the moonlight. What the f- What? Yo, does Brooke have a thing for cats? Brooke's just trolling. He has no idea about Nekomamushi. Singing all these tunes and shit. Who is he? Master Nekomamushi. Nope. What do you mean, nope? I'm singing about how I imagine him to be. Straight up troll. Yeah, yeah, so now Luffy wants to get to the letter. Okay, guys, Saji said there is a chick he has to see real quick. Does that mean, dot, 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 he's going to get married? Huh? You best hope not. So what if Sanji cannot escape the marriage? Chopper then states, after Brooke says that, knowing him, he's probably thinking of cutting himself off from the crew. What? You mean Sanji's going to quit the crew? That's even worse than being part of Big Mom's crew. Let me tell you why he says that. Sanji's the chef. Ho, <laughs> ho, and, and y you know Luffy. You know Luffy cannot allow the chef to leave. He needs his daily meats and cheeses. All right, mainly meats. So there's no way in hell. <laughs> there's no way in hell. If Sanji was an Impel Down level six, Luffy, <laughs> he would break into Impel Down and get his ass out there. Be like, yo, listen, you're cooking for me, nigga. You're cooking for me. Shit. <laughs> Look at me. Yes, Usopp. Yes. The nuts and bolts. The nitty gritty. These relatives of his, they're the real key of all this. Absolutely. Robin, Vince Smoke, I feel like I've heard that name before. Brooke ain't saying shit! Why aren't you saying shit, Brooke? Come on, Brooke. This is the face of a man, or of a former man who's now just bones, who knows something. You see those dot dot dots? He knows something. The Bone Baron is keeping secrets from us, and that ain't cool, nigga. She... Brooke... You know something, Robin, she has an inkling, so she can't remember, but she has an inkling. Is Zoro using his brain? What? This is something new. The smile that Doflamingo was making was intended for Kaido. Yes, yes, here we are. Okay, Zoro, the bigger picture. Just as we angered Doflamingo by destroying the laboratory on Punk Hazard, our destruction of the factory on Dressrosa has angered none other than the Yonko Kaido. 
three exclamation marks. Just like Jack, the man who destroyed this country, Kaido and his goons are no longer some far off threat. It's just a matter of time until they chase us down and demand payback in cold blood. Oh, okay, Zoro. He brings up the alliance with Law. What's more, Kinemon and his friends, for an as of yet unknown reason, are also being targeted by Kaido. And in the midst of all this, that curly eyebrowed idiot goes and sticks his nose in business of another Yonko big mom. Zoro, for some reason, today on this special day, has a fine noggin in between those ears. My assumption is that Zoro had some Wheaties, but Zoro is talking about some very relevant shit. That is not far off, it's actually very close to home. These aren't scrubs, they are the kings of the new world. Shin Sekai, the Yonko. So it's time to get back in gear here. We're never going to figure out what happened if we just sit here and argue. So let's just go and ask Sanji himself. How in the hell are you going to find Sanji? She is a Yonko Luffy, don't forget that. She's a person on a completely different level than any of our opponents so far. <laughs> well then, we can just sneak in. Sneaky mode. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. And Big Bob isn't gonna catch that shit and eat you. Get the fuck out of here. Luffy, you fail. Alright, clearly not a master tactician here. Clearly. What? To be fair, it's not as if we have no way of tracking them down. Chopper, what the fuck? Wait, there's no way you can smell Sanji. No, no way, no way, no, no, no. Your nose is not that strong. You're not Toriko. What the fuck, dog? Hold on, wait a second. Oh, Peckums, yo! They're gonna go to Peckums, what? He's their guide, he knows, the nigga knows. Cause Capone never got Peckums. Brooke is right. They're gonna tail Sanji? To Big Mom's tea party? Oh God, this, this is gonna be good. But then this, is that a rescue arc? No, it's not really a rescue arc, no. They're just going to ask Sanji like, what's going on? In a nutshell, Whale Forest Guardians Residential District. Aha, uh -huh. and here we have Whale Forest Guardians Captain Jaguar Mink, Pedro in the trees. <laughs> Pedro, in the trees that is a ridiculous nickname oh god let me guys let me show you pedro in the motherfucking trees all right this right here is pedro and clearly he likes his branches <laughs> Fucking yo they're goons they're all goons i'm telling you look at look at this hold on let me let me, let me read it to you if you mean peckham's you're in luck he's awoken he's in the building in the back we've been keeping this a secret from everybody else Sanji's a good guy. If there's anything he can do to, they're freaking goons. And look at the way he's in Luffy's face immediately. This right here is some goon status shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Can I get to the side or I can't get to the side? Fuck it. You don't need to see that shit. And then, look, look at Luffy. Luffy's like, 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 bro. Why are we going cheek to cheek? I thought we started first base here, bro. My goodness. Is that how the mink roll? Once they start swinging, they go immediately to second base. Fuck first. What the fuck is this, yo? Chopper, get nigga, what? Chopper is about to get his deer dick on with <laughs> some deer sugar walls. Are you serious right now, Chopper? Are you serious? No, this is unheard of. This, I mean, Chopper's an actual deer that ate a devil fruit. She is a mink deer. This is weird. Blasphemy has to exist somewhere in this. I'm not too sure, all right? But clearly, Monsieur Chopper, for the first time in the entirety of One Piece history, wants to get his deer dick on. This is, <laughs> this is something else. Nekomamushi taking a bath. I think he's eating lasagna, maybe? What is he, Garfield? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a clown, man. They're all clowns. This is a story of clowns. So Chopper's like, I told you to stick to light foods, and I forbade you from using your left hand. I thought Jack cut his hand off, his arm off, and he, he did. He must have. But he's eating like lasagna, and he's, on the, he's in the bath singing, and he has a spoon in, like, his stub, maybe? Ooh, that's... Damn, that's, that's fucking hardcore. Shit. Got some cone freak shit. 
All right, okay. <laughs> he tackles Usopp and Robin. This is the most moisture I've ever seen on Robin. <laughs> Yo, like I told you, man, they don't do first base. They go straight to second. Their breeding rate is high as shit. Guarantee you that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. A ball. Yep, bingo. Knew it. Running gag. <laughs> and his wounds reopen when he's playing with the ball. Peckham's, okay. Big Mom Gateway. Now there's no escaping that marriage. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Pecko Mamushi. Who arranged for this marriage? Well, that would be Mama and the father. The father of the Vinsmoke family, of course. Sanji's dad. He's an infamous... Oh, no! He's an infamous man throughout the underworld. Okay. So they are going the underworld route. Yo. Okay. All right. Never heard of him? Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. The Vinsmoke family will, to put it simply... Is a family of assassins. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good lord. All right. Okay. They are going the assassin route. One piece. Okay, good. So we're getting a chapter next week. Because you know Oda. You know Oda would pull that shit. Like, ha ha. No chapter next week, guys. You got to wait two weeks for this shit. No. Thank God we're getting a chapter next week. Oh. My goodness. The Vin Smoke family. They are an underworld base family. And they're fucking assassins. Wait. Sanji. Sanji, for the most part, is like French, right? Are you? Wait. So it's these guys? Yo! <laughs> well, no, okay, because these guys fucking suck. This game sucks dick. This is some awesome-ass news. But holy shit, man. So then since Capone is mafia-based, then Capone and his mafia boys have some type of connection because they're, they're mafia, so they have some underworld ties, which would mean the same thing would apply to the Capone, the BJ fan, whatever they're called. They would have a connection with the Vince Smoke. But then the bounty thing, so... Oh, yo, CP9 is an assassin group for the world government. Now I think about it, when Robin joined the crew, she said that she was an assassin. Ow, oh, so no wonder she knows about the Vince Smoke. This is something that she's been a part of before the Revolutionary Army, when she was an assassin doing killing folks on the DL. Oh, yo. Oh my god. All right, okay. Okay, okay. So, if the Vin Smoke are that influential, if they're killing pirates and they're killing nobles or whatever they're like because they're underworld base, they have a deep tie to the underworld, it would only make sense that in order to get in their good graces, the only alive, like, like maybe the government said, okay, fine, we'll do this for you guys, but you guys owe us because of because we're allowing Sanji to be kept alive for your wedding. Like, that kind of shit. And so if you keep the Vince Smoke in good graces by having that, by having Sanji marry, marrying Putin, then you keep Big Mom in somewhat good graces. Something like that. Okay, you know what? Let me do the review. Let me, let me do the review. So King of Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day. I like where this is going. Absolutely. Absolutely.